Welcome back, Island Hoppers. Today, we're going to take a look at the 100 best places to travel in the United States of America. We're going to show you everything from the desert southwest to the Pacific Northwest and then the southeast all across this beautiful land. The United States is the seventh largest country in terms of area and the third largest country in the world in terms of population with over 50 states and 340 million people. Now let's get into the list. First up, we're headed to Wyoming. This here is Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone Caldera, oftentimes referred to as a super volcano, is known for its geothermal features such as Old Faithful Geyser, Wildlife Watch with grizzly bears, bison, and wolves. Next up, we're headed to Key West, Florida, known as the southernmost point in the continental United States. While here, cruise up and down Duval Street, do a snorkeling tour out to Tortuga Island, do a food tour and try some key lime pie. Next up, we're headed out to California. This here is Laguna Beach. Located here in the heart of Orange County, you're gonna find shopping in downtown Laguna, Great sunsets here, 1,000 steps beach, and overall outstanding Southern California vibes. And here we are now at Glacier National Park out in Northern Montana, right next to the Canadian border. This is the American Rockies. While here, check out Lake McDonald, the Grinnell Glacier, and going to the Sun Road. Be on the lookout for grizzly bears and moose. Now we're headed out to the Big Apple. This here is Manhattan, home to Times Square. While here, you can check out the World Trade Center. Go to Rockefeller Center at the top of the rock, the Empire State Building. Also visit Wall Street and the Golden Bull. Now we're headed out to the West Coast. This here is the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, known as the Gateway to San Francisco Bay. This is a national landmark that was built in 1937. The bridge does span 1.7 miles and the towers on each side are 746 feet tall. If you can drive across the bridge, do it. Now we're headed to the biggest canyon in the world. This here is the Grand Canyon located in the great state of Arizona. The canyon itself is 277 miles long along the Colorado River and then 18 miles in width. A popular hike is called Rim to Rim. Now here we are on the Florida Panhandle. This here is known as the Emerald Coast. This includes Destin, Panama City Beach, and Pensacola. Along with everything in between, including Fort Walton Beach, known for its silica white sand and clear blue water right here on the Panhandle. Next up, we're staying in the Southeast. This time we're headed to Louisiana. This is the French Quarter of New Orleans. Known for jazz music, the Mardi Gras Festival, also Cajun cuisine. Cruising the Mississippi River and Lake Pontchartrain on a riverboat. Going down Bourbon Street and hanging out with the locals. Next up, we're headed to San Antonio Riverfront right here in the great state of Texas. Known for its scenic river walk with colorful lights, river cruises, cafes, and Tex-Mex food. While here, you can also check out the Alamo. Now we're headed out to Santa Fe, New Mexico. This is actually the oldest capital in the United States, sitting at an altitude of 7,000 feet, so it's way high up here. Known for the old Pueblo-style architecture, the artistic community that's down here. And now we're headed out to Washington, D.C. This here is the National Mall, where you'll find the U.S. Capitol building the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, and the White House. So definitely come out here to Washington DC's National Mall. Here we are in Southern California again. This is La Jolla, which is known for its Edenic type environment along the La Jolla Cove. You'll see sea lions and plenty of bird species as well as lots of people coming here for surfing and enjoying the beautiful climate and weather here in La Jolla right next to San Diego. Now here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. This here is the Las Vegas Strip where you'll find many different hotel casinos that are world-class, including the Bellagio, the Cosmopolitan, the Aria, as well as the Mirage and Paris, just to name a few, and also check out Fremont Street. Now here we are at Maui, Hawaii, actually ranked as the number one island in the world according to TripAdvisor. Here you're gonna have places like Ka'anapali, Haleakala, you've got the Road to Hana, and so many beautiful beaches all around this beautiful island. My favorite beach here is McKenna. From Maui, we're headed back out to Wyoming. This here is the Grand Teton National Park. They've got Jenny Lake and several other attractions and hikes. Nearby, you have Yellowstone to the north, and then to the south, you have Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which is the most expensive zip code in the entire country. 
I would suggest doing Grand Teton and Yellowstone in the same trip. This here is the big island of Hawaii and boy is it amazing. Some of my favorite places to explore are going to be the Green Sand Beach, you have Puna and the Black Sand Beach, the beautiful white sand beaches of Hapuna, and then you have the Hilo side of the island. You also have the tallest mountain in the world at Mauna Kea. Now we're staying on the big island, but this time we're gonna explore Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. At times you can actually see the lava flow. It just depends on if Kilauea is actually erupting. Whether it's erupting or not, this is still a place you must visit on the big island. And now here we are at Park City, Utah, where they actually held part of the Salt Lake Olympics. Here is a skiing capital, but also people come here in the summertime for the resorts and just to hang out in the very cool town. But yes, very much a ski destination, so check out Park City, Utah. Now here we are headed to Nevada. This here is Lake Tahoe, one of the most beautiful lakes in all of the country. Also a ski destination, but a summer destination as well. Many different towns for you to hang out and enjoy. They also have legal casinos. While here, you can also visit Reno, America's favorite little city. Now we're up in the final frontier. This here is Whittier, Alaska. You actually have to go through a tunnel to get here. And wow, is it an amazing place right here along the coast. You can take a ferry boat to places around Alaska like Valdez or maybe even Juneau. So do research that before visiting. Now we're headed to one of the oldest cities in the country. This here is Boston. You have the Back Bay. You also have some history to explore, like where the Boston Tea Party took place. There's Harvard University here. The Golden Dome Capitol is check out Bunker Hill and the USS Constitution ship, which is one of the oldest ships by the Navy and have some lobster. Now we're here at the world famous Jersey Shore where they're going to have Asbury Park, Ocean City. You also have the gambling city of Atlantic City. Some of my favorite places are going to be Seaside Heights and Wildwood at the very edge of the Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore is only really open during the summer, so keep that in mind. It closes in the winter. Now we're headed to St. Augustine, which is actually the oldest city in the United States. Even though it's not the capital, it is the oldest city and it has a fort and an old town for you to explore. Really a beautiful place here at St. Augustine. Located just south of Jacksonville, there are some beaches nearby you may want to check out. Now here we are in northern Idaho. This is Coeur d'Alene. This is a very beautiful lake side town where you'll find some very rustic neighborhoods, beautiful beaches, and some nightlife microbreweries. Really a good place to chill if you're looking for some relaxation. Now we're headed back down to the southeastern part of the United States. This here is Savannah, Georgia, an old historical town where you can find tons of history and quaint neighborhoods. Really a cool place. Probably my favorite place in all of Georgia. Along with New Orleans, this is where you're going to get a feel of the old south. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please do consider liking it and subscribing to the channel as we continue showing you around. All the way up here in New England, this here is Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Another quaint old city here, right along the riverfront that connects to the ocean. Really a cool place to walk around if you want to experience colonial America at a little bit slower pace than Boston. From Portsmouth, New Hampshire, we're headed back out to the west coast. This here is San Luis Obispo, just a bit inland from Pismo Beach, another beautiful area to explore. But they do have some missions from old Camino Real here. So if you're into that kind of stuff, Spanish history, San Luis Obispo, I recommend it. Now we're gonna go a bit south on the Camino Real. This time we're in Santa Barbara, California, another beautiful place. They've got wineries, some of the finest weather you'll find anywhere in the country with great views of the Channel Islands as well as Santa Catalina. So definitely check this place out. The old Santa Barbara mission is one of the local favorites. Here we are back in Wyoming. This time we're highlighting Jackson, Wyoming, plenty of different cowboy bars. Really a cool place to go hang out. They have these chairlifts that go up the mountain. So if you're looking for a fun place to stay and get some of that Western culture up here in Wyoming, you can also check out this Antler Park right in the city center. Now we're actually headed out to Orlando, Florida. This here is the most visited city in the country. Here you're gonna have Disney World, Universal Studios, and several other independent theme parks. So this is really the amusement park capital of the world. Here we are in the Pacific Northwest, also known as the PNW. This is Seattle, known for the Space Needle, as well as some eclectic communities right along Puget Sound. 
You also have the Pike Place, Public Market, it's a farmer's market, the first ever Starbucks was here. And then you have some island hopping that you can do, and then even going up to the San Juan Islands. This here is Austin, Texas, sitting along the banks of the Colorado River, not the same Colorado River that goes through the Grand Canyon, but this is actually where the University of Texas is. It's an up and coming tech city in the United States. So do add this to your list if you wanna see one of the fastest growing cities in the country. Now here we are at the Great Lakes. This here is Chicago, Illinois, sitting along the banks of the Lake Michigan. There's also the Chicago Riverfront. There's the John Hancock Tower and several other big buildings for you to go up top and get some great views, as well as many different museums. And don't forget to check out Navy Pier. Now we're headed out to New Mexico again. This here is Albuquerque. You can walk around the old town of Albuquerque, check out the Indian Pueblo Center and learn about the Native Americans. They also have a nuclear science museum. And then go on a tram to the Sandia Peak. Really an amazing ride with great views. Up here in New York, you have one of the most amazing waterfalls in the world. This here is the Niagara Falls. There's two different sides. There's the Canadian side as well as the American side. Obviously, because this is USA, we're on the American side. But you can see Bridal Veil Falls, Horseshoe Falls, really an amazing waterfall. Now here we are in Cleveland at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They say this is the birthplace of rock and roll. If you really love this kind of music, then you should head over to this museum because it is one of the most historic collector item museums for rock and roll. You'll see Elvis Presley and several other icons of the 70s and before and after. Here we are in Louisville, Kentucky. This here is Churchill Downs. This is where they do the Kentucky Derby. If you haven't been to a horse event before, the first time you should go is to the Kentucky Derby if you can watch one of the events here or just go to Churchill Downs. You can even do a tour when they're not doing anything, but definitely check out Louisville. Here we are out in Nashville, Tennessee, right along the Cumberland River. This here is popular for country music, Hall of Fame, all of that going on right here on Broadway. If you guys wanna have a good time, country music style, then Nashville is the town that you'll wanna explore. This here is Southern California, back out in Orange County. This is Newport Beach, one of California's finest coastal cities just south of Huntington Beach above Laguna Beach in Orange County and south of Los Angeles. Definitely get out here and explore around this beautiful Southern California destination. Now we're headed out to a U.S. territory. This here is the U.S. Virgin Islands. First island is St. John, one of my favorite islands in all of the country to explore. You do not need a passport here, but you should bring a passport card, although it's not necessary but beautiful beaches here and lots to see and do for relaxation. If you can run a Jeep and do a Circle Island tour, you will love it. Next up is St. Thomas, which is right next to St. John. This is where you actually arrive at the airport. You can easily island hop between the two islands. St. Thomas is a little bit more built up infrastructure than St. John, but both you can easily do on a trip to US Virgin Islands along with St. Croix. Now from the US Virgin Islands, we're actually gonna head over to Puerto Rico. This is another territory that you can easily get to from the United States, preferably from Miami, but Puerto Rico's got more of a Latino culture than the US Virgin Islands. And you can actually go around this island and explore the many different areas and hidden gems that Puerto Rico has to offer. Very lush island. Old San Juan is one of the oldest North American settlements. Here we are back in Utah at Zion National Park. This is one of the most popular national parks in all of the country, known for Angels Landing, many different hikes. You also get a variety of different waterfalls cascading off of the sandstone cliffs. And another Red Rock area, this here is Sedona, Arizona, one of, one of the most beautiful scenic towns in all of the country. You have the Oak Creek area to explore, Old Town Sedona, go to Tlacopaki, Really a cool town if you get a chance. Next up here we are at White Sands, New Mexico. You can see this really silica white sand, very soft. You can go out here, you can sled around the sand, walk around this unique desert. They also did some missile bombing tests out here in White Sands, New Mexico. And now here we are at Crater Lake, Oregon. This here is the deepest lake in the United States. That's almost 2,000 feet, 592 meters, and considered one of the deepest in the world, actually. It was first explored in 1886, but you can see very beautiful here at Crater Lake. Here we are in Kauai, Hawaii. This is actually the furthest western part of the United States. Kauai is actually home to Nepali Coast, which is one of the most famous coastlines in all of the world. They also have Waimea Canyon, 
For those of you who love skiing, you need to head out to Telluride, Colorado. They've got a lot going on out here in the Rocky Mountains. Many different ski resort destinations, but Telluride is definitely one of the top dogs in the Rockies. So check this place out if you're a ski nut. Back in California, this time we're in Central California. This here is Big Sur. You're gonna have places like McQuay Falls. You also have some beautiful coastline here. If you've ever wanted to visit California, this is the quintessential point where you're gonna to wanna to go and see the beauty of California coast. Back out here in Tennessee, we're in Gatlinburg. This is a place you can go all four seasons. In the winter, they've got a winter wonderland. In the summertime, things open up and you can check out places like Pigeon Forge. Now we're here in California again. This here is Napa Valley. This is the wine country. For those of you who love wine, this is one of the primary areas in the world. You can go around these wineries, but it offers much more than just wineries. There's also a lot of hikes you can do. So do be sure to visit Napa Valley just north of San Francisco. Now here we are at Horseshoe Bend, this beautiful area where the Colorado River bends around from Utah and heads towards the Grand Canyon. But this is not the Grand Canyon, it's just a beautiful overlook that you can see nearby. Headed back over to Alaska, this here is Seward, Alaska, right there on the Kenai Peninsula, known for being the gateway to the Kenai Fjords. Fishing is a big thing out here. You go out into the Bering Sea and see what you can haul in. So if you love deep sea fishing, go out here. About four hours north of the Kenai is the Denali National Park. Lots of wildlife out here, including grizzly bears, moose, elk, caribou, really some amazing mountains. Of course, Denali being the tallest mountain in North America. And here we are up in Acadia in Maine, which is the northeasternmost point of the United States. It's a national park, very scenic. If you get a chance, go up here. It's just above Portland, and it's a national park worth checking out. Here we are in the Midwest at Mount Rushmore. This is where you'll see some of the former president's faces carved into the mountain here at Mount Rushmore. So it's a very patriotic location. You'll see George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Franklin Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln's face. While you're out in South Dakota, you can also head over to Deadwood, which is an old town known for its mining history. So if you're into old historical towns, you should definitely check out Historic Saloon Number 10, where Wild Bill was shot in 1876. Headed back down to the American Rockies, this here is Aspen, Colorado, just like Telluride. It is a skiing community. You will see lots of activities in both winter and summer, but winter is the big ticket for Aspen, Colorado. From Aspen, we're headed back out to New England. This here is Newport, Rhode Island, one of the older cities in the country. And you can walk around here and experience old New England. They've got the waterfront, some mansions out here, and lots of history for you to understand, and a big bridge. When you visit United States, you should consider visiting both Disneyland or Disney World. Depending on where you're at though, if you're on the West Coast, it's Disneyland. If you're on the East Coast, it is Disney World in Orlando. But either way, Disney is part of the American way and culture. Here we are back in New England again. This is Cape Cod, Massachusetts, nearby Boston. If you guys want to go out to Martha's Vineyard and explore some of these islands as well as the Cape, good history here dating back many years. And we're back here in California at Death Valley. This is a unique desert. You'll see a lot of different sandbars, salt and mud flats. Also, this is actually the hottest place in the world at times, but certainly the hottest place in the United States. Good place to watch stargazing. Just south of Death Valley is another place called Joshua Tree, home to the very unique Joshua Tree plant. So if you guys wanna do some more stargazing, you need to come down here and camp out, maybe even get an Airbnb or hang out around this area. Really cool place. Going a bit north of Joshua Tree, this here is the Sierra Nevadas known as Sequoia National Park, home to the General Sherman, which is a big redwood tree, also known as the Sequoia Tree probably the thickest and tallest trees you'll find anywhere in the world here in California. Now there is another place called the Redwood Forest National Park here in Northern California. It's not the same as Sequoias and the trees are a bit different. They say the largest tree in the world actually lives here in the Redwood Forest in Northern California. Headed back out to the coast, this here is Monterey, California, known for the aquarium. They also have Cannery Row. You can do some really amazing whale watching here. So do add Monterey, California to your list. It's, it's just south of Santa Cruz, actually. And just south of Monterey is Carmel by the Sea, home to one of the best golf courses in the country, Pebble Beach. 
Also a very quaint, small town right here along the coast. So you have Monterey and Carmel by the Sea, two places you should check out. They call it the 17 mile drive. Headed back out to the PNW, this here is Olympic National Park. It's nearby Seattle, but it's still about two to three hours away. Beautiful mountains in this rainforest here. You'll see a lush forest. Definitely get out here, do some camping and exploring on the water. Staying in Washington, going a bit inland, this here is Mount Rainier. This volcano actually is active and could erupt at any time, so keep that in mind. It is a seismic area. This thing is beautiful from a distance and up close. Here we are back in Utah. This here is Arches National Park in Utah. Very beautiful place because the rock formations do form many different arches. As you can see, Utah appears on this list quite a few times. In fact, here's another one. This one is called Bryce Canyon. They've got a very beautiful uh, sandstone, red rock area for you to check out here. So you can do Zion, Bryce Canyon, and Arches in the same trip. To explore Utah, you should either arrive in Salt Lake City or Las Vegas. Here we are back in Florida this time. We're on the Everglades National Park. They've got multiple different areas for you to explore. You can get on a hovercraft and whiz around. There's gonna be alligators and other reptiles and lots of birds out here in the Everglades. Back in Tennessee, this time we're at the Ruby Cave right near Chattanooga. You can see it's one of the most colorful, beautiful cave systems you will see. And if you love taking pictures for Instagram, you gotta come over here because Ruby Cave Really a special place in Chattanooga. Headed out to North Carolina. This time we're out at the Outer Banks. You've got places like the Kitty Hawk where modern aviation began and a lot of different beaches to explore. Great sunrises can be had here on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Here we are in Northern Michigan. This is a very beautiful place along Lake Michigan. You have places like Mackinac Island, you also have Traverse City. So many different places in Northern Michigan, considered one of the most beautiful places in the country. Here we are back in Maine. This here is Portland, one of the oldest cities in the country, known for its beautiful wilderness, some lighthouses that you can explore, as well as lobster. Again, Maine, known for its lobster. Here we are now in Oregon. This is Cannon Beach, known for its rock formations, also seaside. You can see beautiful sunsets here. Definitely a place to check out next time you're in Portland. Visiting here any time of year is good, but I would say spring is my favorite time. Now we're headed just a bit south. This here is the Oregon Sea Cave. This is the largest sea cave in the United States. You will see a sea lion colony. Now they are seasonal, so do check the times for when those sea lions will be there. Uh, but really a cool place. You have to take an elevator down to get to the sea cave. For those of you who appreciate Civil War history, you'd want to go to the Gettysburg out here in Pennsylvania. You can see just how that battle was fought. So this was the Battle of Gettysburg, very famous for Civil War history, uh, north versus south. Headed back out to Arizona, this here is Antelope Canyon. This is a very unique system of caves and ravines that you walk through, sandstone. Really cool, just south of the Colorado River, nearby Horseshoe Bend actually but you need a permit to go here. This unique rock formation is called Devil's Tower out here in Wyoming. Some people say it's the tree stump of a very large tree that's been petrified. I do not know for sure, but either way, the Devil's Tower is a very unique rock formation. Headed back out to South Dakota, this here is the Badlands. This dramatic landscape of layered rock formations and steep canyons with towering rock formations. There's also gonna be bison and bighorn sheep around here. You could check out the Badlands on the same trip to Mount Rushmore. Next up, we're actually headed out to the Appalachian Mountains. This goes through Pennsylvania, West Virginia, part of Virginia, North Carolina. So the Appalachian Trail is out here, but really a unique mountain range on the East Coast. Here we are now at the Mesa Verde archeological site. This is a very unique cliff dwelling area where they have many different pueblos and dwellings dating back for more than 700 years. So if you want to understand Native American tribes, go to Mesa Verde in southwestern Colorado. Just down the way towards Four Corners, you're going to have Monument Valley. This here is northeastern Arizona and southern Utah. These unique rock formations that date back many years ago. They say this used to be under the sea, so Monument Valley. Back here in New York City, we're at the Statue of Liberty, actually Ellis Island. This is where they used to process immigrants from Europe and other parts of the world. So this is really an American icon. You can see it from the Hudson River and New York Harbor. 
Here we are in South Florida. This is South Beach right outside of Miami. A very popular beach. Many of you know it as Miami Beach, but lots going on down here if you are into entertainment and beach life right here in Miami at South Beach. Now here we are at Hoover Dam. This is the border of Arizona and Nevada, a very powerful hydroelectric plant that was built back in the 1930s. Quite the engineering marvel that you can walk in and check out. This here is the Ozark in Arkansas, one of the most popular areas you'll find out here. A very beautiful part of the country right along the Arkansas River Valley, but you can see very cool forest, beautiful, and people like to go out here and camp and hike. Now we're here in St. Louis at the Arch of Missouri. This is along the Mississippi River and it signifies the gateway into the west of America right here in the heart of the country along the mighty Mississippi. Now we're here at Waikiki, one of the most famous beaches in all of the country, but certainly in Hawaii, in Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. If you guys want to go to the best part of Hawaii, they say this is it for fun and relaxing surfing. Now here we are in Kansas City, Missouri. You would think it was in Kansas, but nope, it's in Missouri. And it's an old Midwestern city that you should definitely check out. I think it goes underrated across the country, known for its Kansas City barbecue. And this here is the Multnomah Falls right next to Portland in the Columbia River Gorge. It's a beautiful, high, tall waterfall that just cascades down. So definitely come out here, take some pictures and enjoy the scenery. Now here we are in the city of brotherly love. This is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You can find the Liberty Bell here as well as several other buildings that are important dating back to Benjamin Franklin and the founding fathers. So this is a very important historical city. Now here we are at the Snoqualmie Falls. This here is in Washington nearby Seattle. You can see it's a very tall towering waterfall. Super beautiful. So if you're in the area, definitely check this one out. All right, now from the Pacific Northwest, we're headed back down to southwestern America. This is Saguaro National Park. The interesting thing about Saguaro National Park is this is one of the few places in the world where these big, tall, green saguaros grow. This is nearby Tucson. Headed up to northern Arizona, this here is Meteor Crater. This is one of the largest impact sites for a meteor on Earth. So if you guys want to see where a big meteor hit Earth, go right here to Meteor Crater. The interesting thing is the surrounding area is completely lacking vegetation. Now we're actually headed to Northern Arizona. This is the wave. You can see these unique sandstone uh, designs. People actually like to hike around, walk out here. You have to get a permit to go though. All right, guys, that's the 100 places from across America. As you can see, some of the states had way more than others, in particular, Arizona, California, Florida, those are some of the main places. Also, Colorado, Washington made the list a few more times. Hawaii as well. If you guys would like us to make the best states in the country in order, let us know and we will see you guys on the next one from Island Hopper TV. Thanks to all of our subscribers and channel members. You can also watch our top 50 destinations in the world as well as our best islands in the world video next.